Hi, it's Lori from Coast to Coast Craft Girls coming to you from the West Coast. Today I wanted to share a fairly quick and simple card. Um, a little die cutting and a little bit of stamping and you're done. It's a 5x7 top fold card. Um, it's just a couple of layers and a couple of stamps. And it, it goes together pretty quickly. Uh, so let me show you how it's made. We're going to start with our die cutting layer. So I've got a piece of card that's just under five by seven. It's it's just about an eighth of an inch short. And then this die is a snowflake frame die that I got from Crafter's Companion a while ago. And we're just going to cut that into here. And it, it'll cut the frame with the snowflakes and then the center frame. Okay, so I've got all my little pieces out. Now I want to cut my mat layer. Oops, I got one more in there. I want to cut my mat layer because I want that to show through like that. But I need that cut out of it. Okay. So this is the die that goes with that. And see if I cut that, it's going to give me a little bit of a blue frame. Um, I'm going to try that and see if I like it. If I don't like the blue frame, then I'll just cut a little bit extra. I cut it by hand on the other one. Um, well, not by hand, but with my paper trimmer. I just marked it, but I'm gonna try this and see what I think of that little blue, of that blue frame in there. That does give you a nice edge on it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that. So we'll go ahead and build the card. And then if I decide I don't like that, that little edge, then I'll just cut it off. So I'm going to use the little white piece that came out of, of here to do my stamping on, okay? But first I'm going to go ahead and ink this background. Actually, with that little bit of a frame, maybe I'll use my baby blue. So this is a Spectrum Noir Water Reactive ink. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm also going to use the baby blue on the background of this card, just kind of all over. Um, which the reason I didn't do it beforehand, because I was thinking I'd use two different inks. But since I'm using the same ink, I probably should have just inked the one piece of card completely before I cut it. Would have been a lot easier, but that's okay. Okay, now let me see if I like that, or if I want it a little bit darker. I think I do want that a little bit darker. So I think I do want that a little bit darker, so I'm going to use try using my shimmer ink pad, the Starlit Sky. And I'm just going to try and be pretty light touch on it, because I don't want big splodges and I don't want it dark dark. I just want to darken it a little bit. Okay, now let's try that again. Yeah, I like that darker color. Okay, and now we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. And you can see on this one, I stamped a couple of trees in the background, and then I did three that are um, that I die cut out that are prominent in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp some of those background trees. I'm gonna bring out my stamping platform. And the tree stamps that I used are Recollections. These are from Michaels. They're just super, they, I got them on sale, um, I think last year after Christmas for a couple of bucks. They're normally $12.99, but I know I got them on sale after Christmas last year and they were super cheap. So I'm going to do, um, I think on this one, I'm going to do more of the, like the foresty kind of look in the background, as opposed to just individual trees. And we know this is the size of our aperture. And I'm going to put a big tree in the middle. So we're going to kind of concentrate these to the outside. In fact, 
fact, I think I'll swap and do it like that. Okay, let's pick up those stamps. And I'm going to stamp them with um, my shimmer inks. I'm, I've got Frosty Mint and the Tropic Blue. And I'm just going to kind of, I, th I think I might even do a little bit of mixing of those colors. I'm going to start with the green. Oh, I kind of like that. I think we'll just stick with the Frosty Mint. That's, that's nice. Okay, now I'm going to set that to one side because I'm done with that one. And then I need to cut my three trees that I'm going to um, die cut out. So I'm going to use my largest tree and then I'm going to do two smaller trees. So I want two of these. So I'll do one at a time. Okay, so I've got my trees done and I'm going to try and decide now if I really like this extra blue layer or not. So it's going to go like that. And then I've got one, two, and then I've got the green tree that I can put in the front, or I've got the really messy blue tree. I don't like that one at all. Yeah, I think I'm good with the blue. Okay, that one's trash. So then it's just gluing these things on. Um, now this piece is going to go onto that border, uh, or I'm going to put the border onto here first. And the one, the way you want to do that is just put glue on this piece, this piece just around the die cuts. So I'm just going to use my tacky glue because it's a coated card that it's gluing onto. I mean, the wet glue gives you the benefit of being able to wiggle it and get it in place. But the dotty tape pen would have been able to get in and all those snowflakes, but I think it's going to work. Okay. And now we're going to put this on here, but I want to mark where I want my other piece because I'm going to put this on first and then this is going to go, this piece is going to go on with foam tape. Okay. So to do that, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some um, uh, Kalal all-purpose glue, which is a wet glue and it gives me a lot more wiggle time than a tacky glue because this is going to go flat on my card. So I just take this piece, put some wet glue on it, okay. get it about where you think it needs to go. Then put this piece on, and wow, I was almost dead on. And But now, see, you can move it around. So if you want it higher, lower, one to one side, or the other, that looks good. Now I'm going to put this piece on with some foam tape. Then you can decide which side up you want it. Center it on your card. And press it down. Now I'm gonna put my trees in. I'm gonna start with the middle one, okay? And I'm gonna use foam pads. And I'm going to use two layers of foam pads because I want it a little bit higher than the back two. 
I want to slide the other two underneath. Slide, put your tree in the middle. Well, it looks pretty much right on. And then we're going to put just a single layer of foam pads on these. Beside and a little just tucked slightly under so that it looks like a nice grouping of trees. Just about like that. And on the other one, I put a sentiment. I'll bring it in here. See, I put a sentiment up here on the top. Um, the other thing I did on this one is I took some of the little snowflakes and I put on the background. I don't think I'm going to do it on this one because I have that blue layer. So I'll save those snowflakes for another thing, another card. But um, so this one, you can see I used a little bit different colored ink. And then I used a silver holographic in the background, whereas I used the dark blue mirror card on this one. Um, little slightly different looks, but essentially the same card. And then this one I use the smaller trees, and this one I use the bigger trees to stamp in the background. Um, this one's a little more even colored because of the you don't have the dark in the back, whereas this one that that dark blue kind of pops out a little bit more. So they look a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure I like them. I mean, I like them both. I can't. I'm not sure if I like one better. I almost, I think I almost like the holographic a little bit better, but gives you a sense of, you know, just changing up the colors and it looks just a little bit different. Now you could stamp these in, you could put a, you know, a silvery blue in the background. You could make this, like if you wanted to use more pinks and purples, you could actually use a purple, like a darker purple and a, a more of a pink tone with some pinks and purples in there if you wanted to kind of use a little bit more of a modern twist on the colors. But anyway, um, it's a fairly simple card. It goes together pretty quickly. Um, just a little stamping and some die cutting. So, and if you're making a bunch of them, this is pretty easy to mass produce because you can just die cut everything at once. And if you were really, if I was mass producing these, I would not ink this background. I would just use a, a solid color cardstock to cut into. And then it would be super fast to do. Um, it would just be, you know, die cut that, die cut the center out of that, do a little bit of stamping, some die cutting. And you could even use a printed paper in the background instead of inking and, and stamping on that. And then it would just be a snap. So thanks for watching.